It was good, everybody. So I picked up a um, Glenfield 60, which is basically like a a um, it's it's a Marlin 60, but it's kind of like a a relative, I guess, in the Marlin 60. It's still in the Marlin family. Um, but this is an older gun. This is made. I uh, checked the uh, serial number. It was manufactured back in 1971. As you can see it has Glenfield 60 on it. There we go. This is the 18 round tubular magazine. Um, I picked this up actually for for squirrel hunting. It actually got a little squirrel uh, engraved into the stock, which is pretty cool. But um, it was eighty dollars. Um, they had originally had a price tag of a hundred bucks, but I picked it up for eighty um, at a, a local pawn shop out in Douglasville, Georgia. And I just wanted a secondary option for um, squirrel hunting, small game hunting stuff like this is coming around that season here in Georgia. And just a little backup gun, just so I can, you know, just in case you have a friend that want to go out and hunt with you, have a little extra little 22 rifle, and it don't cost that much money. It's only 20, well, only 80 bucks. And it's 22. It's light. It's pretty reliable, actually. I've been shooting a couple rounds out of it. I've been shooting the uh, Guila ammunition that I picked up from Adventure Outdoors for two dollars a box, and so far it's been running pretty smoothly. 